How do you see body image issue from religion's point of view? Okay, so when we speak of body image in a very positive way and in the spiritual way, it is very important, especially in terms of religion, because body image reflects the spirit or reflects the soul. So in the Bible, it also says that whatever comes out of us comes from within. So if our body image, should we say, is not proper, then maybe the inside of us, our spirit, may not also be proper or organized. So for religion, I think body image is very important because it reflects what is inside the human person. Okay. Next question. What does the Bible say about this issue? Um, there are many verses in the Bible which talks about body image and what I said just a while ago. First of all, if you go to the book of Genesis, it says there that we are created in the image and likeness of God. What does this mean? It means that we are good. It means that we are holy, but sometimes we fall into sin, of course. But generally, we are holy and created good in the eyes of God. If you look at Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24, it also says the same thing, that we have to change for the better because we are created in the image of God. If you would go to the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 16, and let me just read this. It says here, Do you, know, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? So our bodies, our body image, uh, here dwells, Roh Kudus, the Holy Spirit. So it is that important from the Bible. Based on religion, is having a positive body image important? Yes, it is very important, especially a positive outlook in life. Anything that is positive can help a person. Uh, for instance, if a person is sad, it will affect the person. You call that psychosomatic. Meaning, if the person is sad, it, if sad, if the person is sad, it will affect his or her body. But if the body image is positive, it will also help the person in a very positive way. Okay, what do you think influences a person's body image? Well, there are many things. First of all, pressure from the society, pressure from the family. Misalnya, many people today would like a slim figure and that's good but sometimes it would be the point of hurting that person himself or society will say you should be thin or society would say you should be white or, or whatever uh, if, if, if I would give an example in the Philippines many people want to become white but they are brown in color in Europe many people are super white but they want to be brown so sometimes the trends the fashions influence the people's uh, thinking concerning body image. Yeah. Why do you think people have a distorted body image? Yes, you know, because sometimes people have a distorted view of body image because they're not, they're not contented with what they have. They're not satisfied with what they have. They're already good looking, but they want more. They're already fine in terms of body image but they want more they want to be more beautiful more white and sometimes it becomes an excess and when it becomes an excess and that's a problem it distorts the body image so maybe uh, as what the philosophers especially the chinese philosophers would say everything in moderation <laughs> meaning the midway not too less not too more just the middle what does the Bible say about the people who choose to mistreat themselves by doing a wrong way of diet? Yeah, so you, you were very particular. Mm -hmm. Those who diet in the wrong way. Well, we know what happens to these people. In the 80s or 70s, there was a, a singer named uh, Karen Carpenter. Mm -hmm. She had very famous songs, very beautiful songs, and I know some of her songs. But she died because she dieted herself to death. You see, how, you see how it harms, mistreat the body by doing a wrong way of diet. The Bible is, is clear in saying, especially in Proverbs, that, well, you have to take care of your body. The Greek should say, mens sana in corpore sano, meaning a healthy mind and a healthy body. 
So it should be a well-rounded uh, healthiness or healthy lifestyle by, uh, by eating the right food, exercise, sleeping well, working well, not excess, everything in moderation. In, in the Christian sense, we call it patience or prudence, the right thing at the right time. How does having a negative body image affect self-esteem, mood, and self-confidence? Yeah, that's a problem now. If we have a distorted bodily image, a distorted body image, so how can we face people now? How can we do what we are supposed to do? For instance, in our work. So what can we do now? We are sick because of the wrong way of dieting. We lose self-confidence because we are never satisfied with what we have. So it distorts all of these things, including self-esteem, because we are not satisfied. Yeah. How do we overcome a negative body image through religion? Well, first of all, you have to read the Bible. <laughs> and you have to try to live a very holy life, meaning a life which God wants us to be. What does that mean? A body, a body and a life which is truly Christian. A life which loves it, you see, that love can go a long way. If I love myself and if I love my body, I will take care of it. Meaning, I will not sleep too much, I will not diet too much, I will not eat too much, but do everything in an appropriate way because God made me to be healthy and later on to be with Him. I guess religion can really help a lot in, in living a good life. How do we learn to accept ourselves through religion? Yeah. How do we learn to accept ourselves? Well, just be who you are. Let's be true to ourselves. Not all people are created equal. Some are really fat. <laughs> Some are really thin. No matter how many, how much rice they eat, they're still thin. Me, even if I eat small amounts of rice, I get easily fat and heavy. I mean, I have to live with that. What can I do? I exercise, I do my best, but these things happen. I must accept who I am. And um, it's, it's just a matter of, like what I said, accepting who you are, what you're doing, and just love what you do. Okay? If you like to eat chocolates, go eat chocolate, but not too much. Uh, if you like to eat meat, go ahead, but not too much. So it's everything in moderation. The religion teaches us to be prudent with our decisions and to be prudent with our bodily images. What do you think is a suitable solution for this issue? And is there one from a religion's point of view? Yeah, so like what I said, it's just living what you were called to be. It's living the right kind of life. The book of Proverbs would say that um, one should live a life which is also spiritual and physical. So meaning a life which is uh, healthy through exercise, proper eating, fruits and vegetables, even meat sometimes, but also a healthy spiritual life. And that spiritual life can help the person to be strong in spirit, the soul, and the body. Again, our lives came from God. So it is God who can help us in a bodily and spiritual way. But it is up to us to make the right choices, to eat the right foods, to have the right exercise, okay? So that we can have a solution to certain problems and misconceptions concerning bodily image. Okay, that's it. Thank you.